Good morning and welcome to your first week of online photography. I'm your teacher, Miss Riley. Uh, before I get into what you need to accomplish for this week, I just want to say welcome and I'm so excited to have you in this class. And even though we're not in a traditional classroom setting, I want to create that environment in an online platform and make you feel like you are supported and can reach out to me with any questions, issues that you may have. A couple of you have already sent me emails and I'm thrilled that we are building that communication already and we want to keep that going. Uh, what you need to accomplish for this week, there's a couple of videos to start you off and all of this is listed in my modules under week one, unit one. Um, so the first video is a history video over photography. It's just a short three to four minute clip. Uh, and then there's also how photography connects us video that you'll want to watch. Now, before you start those videos, you'll want to download and have the questions to answer first day videos worksheet available. So while the videos are playing, you can just plug in your answers. Uh, after you get done watching your videos and filling in your worksheet, there's a discussion board that I would like you to um, say something that was interesting or struck you during those videos. Now, if somebody has the same fact or same idea, um, instead of repeating it on our discussion board, I would like you to say why you found it interesting or why it struck you and communicate with that other student. After you get those videos, the worksheet and the discussion done, then I would like you to fill out a Google form um, just saying which times are available you're available to communicate so we could figure out Google Meets and things like that and critiques uh, just for my own knowledge. Uh, after the Google form, I would like you to take the pre-assessment. Now, the pre-assessment, it is not graded. It is just for me to know what you know. Hopefully it's not a lot so I can teach you lots of things this semester. But let me repeat, not graded, just for me to know what you know. It is a bit of a longer one, take breaks as you need. Um, and I've been told a couple questions repeat. And if any issues come up with like images, just refresh your page um, and then you'll be taken right back to the same question. After the pre-assessment, you have a composition web quest to do to start prepping you for our first individual project next week, which is learning about composition. So for that composition web quest, you'll download another worksheet and follow this. There's four sources that you're going to search and fill in that worksheet and turn that in once you are completed. The last thing that you have to do for this week, and just so we know who is accessible to Adobe, is to try to log into your Adobe suite and the instructions, everything is in the module. The assignment is if you are not able to get in, tell me no, I'm not able to get in. Or if you are able to get in, yes, we're all good. That's all you have to submit is just a little text for your assignment. Now, last week I sent you a welcome email and there were a couple things in that email that I would like you to do. And if you haven't done that previously, then I need you to do that this week. The first thing is, is read over and look through the disclosure statement. Uh, and then you as the student and either a parent or guardian needs to sign the disclosure statement as well. There's a couple different ways you could do that. You could download the form, manually sign it with pen and ink, take a picture of it and email it to me or turn it into the assignment. Um, otherwise, I have just a Google form created for both the parent and the student. And that's the easiest way for me personally. Uh, doesn't take long, just type in boom, 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 done. Uh, then there's also the all about you form that I would like you to fill out just so I can get a sense of your interests um, things that you like hobbies that you have so I can recommend some project ideas and for me to just learn about who you are I'm curious since I don't have you in class and in person I still want to know who you are uh, and then the last thing this is optional, but if you do want to learn about me, there is just a quick little Google slideshow. I'm um, just some general information about my background, my hobbies, interests, fun facts about me, and my teaching experience.
Later this week, I will be checking in with all of you. I'll send you an email and just a little questionnaire of how this week went, how do you feel about it, how was the workload, things like that. And please, please, please fill that out in any type of idea or issue that you had. Please let me know through that email so I can adjust and kind of make it better for next week. But we'll take it week by week. We'll roll with the punches. That's my mentality this year is we're just going with the flow. Um, even though we're not in class, I still want to build a great community of us online and do some great art. Excited for you. Have a good week of learning.